Okay, hey, Airborne Media Pros here. This is Will. So, uh, what do I have here? Well, these are wires that are going to the electronic speed control. After the electronic speed control, they go to the motor. Anyways, um, what's this little thing right here? Well, this is a capacitor. Uh, it is a, um, a 220 uh, micro, micro farad, uh, 50 volt capacitor. Now, why would I solder a capacitor in parallel to these wires? What is the purpose of that? Well, these wires are fairly long, as you can see. Uh, they go all the way over here. So from here, all the way to here, which actually then plug into the outlets on the power distribution board. So there's the power distribution board, and they go here. So they literally plug in right to there. And so what you wind up with is a long wire. So, still, that doesn't explain why I have a capacitor on there. Well, the capacitor is to prevent, or to help to prevent, something called inductance. Inductance is the, is the opposite of resistance. So what can happen when you're using uh, fairly, fairly big batteries, and you have long wires going from your battery to your electronic speed control, is you can get these voltage spikes. And the voltage spikes over time uh, can go beyond, be beyond what, what the electronic speed control is supposed to take um, for just a couple of seconds or even just half a second. And for the most part, it's probably okay, but uh, over time, it, it can damage the electronic speed control. So by putting in a, by putting a resistor uh, in line, uh, this actually helps to uh, level out the voltage going to the electronic speed control, which thereby keeps the electronic speed control safe. So, in order to have safe, successful flights, it's best to just make sure you check everything. And that's what this is all about. Thanks for watching. There. That's it in focus. Sorry about the pause there. Just wanted to get in focus. Thanks for watching.